Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to over how to animate your AI render art and give it a little bit more life and some motions inside of this. As well, you can create it, some images to create it, to create um, like relaxation videos or just a immersive kind of experience where you can combine together. So we go through all of the steps. And let's start right now by first working with our images. Well, for this one, for animations, uh, currently I will going to use it, the Photo Mirage from Corel. You can download a free 30 days trial, but after this you will need to purchase. And if you try to create animations, I found this is one of the, if not only the top, but the best one to create very easy way these animations. Of course, if you want to spend a little bit more time and effort, you can do this probably in After Effects or any other applications, but with Photo Mirage, we can do this much, much easier and faster way. So let's do this way. Right here, we have our applications and we need to start by opening image. I'm just going to drag and drop one of the image and this is what's created in a mid journey with a um, disk diffusion with the algorithm. If you're interested, I have those images available for you as a Patreon, so you can download it to play with them along, or um, you can go on my profile and download it from there. They are not private, so they're open for the people. And right here we have it kind of like Nebula, uh, wormhole, I don't know what you can call, but I do like how it's look, it's abstract, spacey things, and I want to animate. So to animate inside the photo mirage, we'll need to use a special tools, the animation motion selector. And you can see right here, we have it several. So when we select first, it's animations. Next, we have it mask and selectors and adjustment tools. We want to use it all of them in our video here, but we use it most of them and those which is related to us. So how do we animate? We'll select first animation tool. And notice right here, when I click, and drag, I have this area expanding. So it will create it for me directional motion of this. The shorter it is, the slow it will go. The far away, the faster it will go. So I'm going to click and select. Notice I create this arrow. If we go down on a left bottom and click on the play, it will generate very fast and we have it motion. Right now, you can see the motion happen to all screen and it's progressively decreasing as we're going away. However, I don't want motion applied to everything. To reduce motion, we have several ways we can apply to this. One, it's if we're going to select masking tool and we just mask area where we don't want this happen, you'll notice it will freeze some of this area, but it will apply around. It's like a circle, so it's mask out from motion. Okay, another way, what we're going to do is also in a selection, you have it the anchor points. And if we set anchor points and we'll put it around our motion, let's play right now. You'll notice at this point, it is kind of like anchor around the area and motion apply only in these selected areas. So this is kind of very useful if we want to separate and create motions as well. This is actually about all. It's got more additional options, but we won't go too much in this. And if we do, we'll I'll explain what's going on. So we have it kind of visibility with layers. Uh, we don't need to really worry at this time about what do we preview. We'll view all of them at the same time. It will help us. But if you have it very complex, you can hide some of these points. The one what I'm looking, I'm analyzing an image and we can see we almost have it like coming flow and a twisting and round. So this is what I want to do. I want a, a range like it's almost universe coming to the, like not black hole, but right here. So uh, as we're going to create with our speed or arrow pointing, we cannot really bend. Instead, we need to create a several lines like right here. You can see we kind of creating path to go. So right there. And going with the speed, so I'm going to select Remember what I says, if they are longer, they're going faster. So we're going to mix with longer and slow. And usually we want to create a slow movements far away and as closer we're getting and faster. So overall, this look okay. And you'll notice it's going okay motion and now it's become blur. Because how the photo mirage work, it is work with the motion 
and blurring and blending levels. So we need to minimize uh, this effect to be visible. And we have several options we can do this. One we can create with um, anchor points and make visual points to stop. So we'll go do this way. Uh, we create one motion. We have other options. We can select faster motions and just go in opposite way. right here okay let's preview this and usually what i do i create and i preview and see so in this case we have this kind of cool twisted motion now and we have it less effect on the blurriness because we did we have it brackets right there see straight line it does happen but we will re rework on this and next so next what i want to do is kind of make re repulsion after this so we'll go create like this lights kind of like almost the cloud spreading out okay let's create these motions and we'll have it clouds going inside a little bit remember we have breakage here so we'll go this is clouds go a little bit out so we have it cloud is expanding and we can create small ones as well so if you I find sometimes work very well to mix them together like faster and smaller between so it's great kind of an really interesting like twirly effect okay and let's move maybe this cloud as well out okay click preview and you can see how our cloud expand look on this one we have it some break here we need to fix this effect and we'll have a problem right here a little bit colliding Okay, we can start addressing those by putting properly anchor points. So what's happening if I put points between these areas to separate some of these levels? Say I put it anchors right here. Let's put anchor in the middle. Okay, and we, if we preview now, this anchors area where is a stop. And you can see it does not have it motions, but it does apply motion in other areas. At this point, I will add a little bit more anchors maybe around here. So we kind of fix almost on the middle because we want spread cloud, but we don't want going. We can add even anchors just a little bit like around here. Reduce some of the spread. Because we want that. The other suggestion, wherever you have these bright stars, I'll usually don't let them move because the blending will be very, very visible on them. So we want to, on those stars, kind of lock them in one place. Okay. And we want to lock this element. So let's go ahead and preview now what's happening. And you can see it's much better happen already right here where we have it locked because we can see, I don't necessarily like lines. And then next we start addressing these lines. This is what's happening when it's a break and usually it's happen when we have it a very fast very big motions so let's work on those motions we can select one which is big motion and shrink down look at this we can take these big motions and make them much smaller this will help us to create a better effect because when it's a too big motion we don't necessarily want them so we'll, let's reduce some of these motions we can reduce global motion by reducing speed of our animations, but I found um, we want to match first inside here and usually just reduce some of these motions out. And this one, you know what, let's rotate this out, kind of going this direction. You can see how it's very easy to adjust. This motion is break because this huge, huge fast movement. So we'll reduce these movements and maybe just even go along with this let's preview we should have it right here much better see how it's way better in this area where we reduce same we have it better effect in this area nice twirling happening inside this cloud it's expanding maybe too fast you know what let's reduce some of the effect around here as well okay we'll go click on this yes because we have this very large big motions and they work very well like if you have a waterfall for example and you want to get closer you want maybe on a closer have it big motions but as far away we're going we don't want to have those big 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 motions so we want 
smaller units but I'm going to reduce them I was definitely very happy to create all these fast motions here so now we need to go down and make them smaller motions so we'll reduce them a little bit same like right here see how big this motions is so we need to make them quite a bit smaller then it will look much more natural again we'll try to match motions with a what it will be in real this one is maybe a little bit too big right here i just noticed this big but okay look right there it's look very nice i will have some problem with the blending right in this area and to help us with blending we need to just take a anchor point and just put it right between there you go that will help us a little bit with a fake kind of effect of the motion if we look around you can see we have it separate going but like almost cloud it does not it's help a little bit with the blending i think right here we need it i have a big motion yep there you go we have a very large motion in this area which is we'll need to reduce so it does not break because slow and fast motion sometimes it does break and we can take this one and just pointing a little bit this way okay this is what we call tweaking. So we go around and adjust. Oh, this one need go out. But this way we can play around with this. And you can see how easy you can create this. I mean, it's seriously, it's very, very easy to take, adjust, and create like better effect. So it's. Okay, there you go. Let's reduce this one. make a much smaller steps okay next we'll take another tool and let's go over and see what's happening so right here we can add just little bit motions to these areas and this is will slow down because remember we have it faster and then we have it slow so it will oops we'll have it just little bit slow motions to these edges same like right here we can add teeny tiny motions because in this way i don't i want to move but i don't want to move too fast so we'll just add like spreading a little bit and of course we can add a little bit more motion inside there you go let's preview and you can spend hours literally to, just to make it look good but i think at this point we have the very nice motions on our cloud so let's go ahead and export here's things before we export you'll notice we have it our speed so if we're going to very fast speed we'll have it quite a bit fast motion and the blending pop up too fast if we're going too slow in some areas it will same things we'll have it much smoother slower motions but in some cases blending will go okay but it is uh maybe slow actually i do like slow so just play around so i want will go always slow just a little bit going like about five on a slow speed and the next we're ready to export so for this one we'll go file and export so we want to export our animations you have the many presets Instead, what I want to do is be sure export in format I support it, MP4, and I want HD. You can go up to 4K if you need it. And animations, I want to go actually 30 seconds. So it will loop over and over and over again, but I want 30 seconds. And other things would also find you uh, need it with how many seconds you export. You want kind of going with your speed. So if it was a second, 6 and 30, it's not really, will be uh divide accurately so it will be not total seamless loop so i like kind of keep it that way so it's dividing very easy by this and we're going to the high quality uh 30 frames 60 frames so let's go with about uh, 30 frames on this case and uh, and now we click ok and it will prompt us for loading so universe let's create this one save at this moment it start exporting it will take a little bit time depending on how powerful your machine how much resolution or frames you need to create it 
um, exporting on a bottom it will going but at one point that will be disappearing and seems like completed but it's actually will still going um, process so I would recommend you to wait till this menu is disappear when it's come back to original screen then it's done because sometimes it's go there it's gone but it's still actually processing Okay, so here's our mission done and I'm just going to place inside the Camtasia. You can use any other video editor. This is just to preview. So let's go ahead and click preview and you can see this is our animation done. It's much more interesting how it's done. You can see the several loops happening. Um, one additional uh, kind of suggestions you can add layers and it's what usually I do when I work with this. I create create image and you can select additional image maybe from stock or other areas where you like it and uh, let's make it bigger take this image add some of the blending mode so it will apply it but in this case we have it over over lay with all these like different particles which you just make additional effect kind of look more interesting uh, we don't need that permanent we just need it a little bit applying i think on opacity play around but you can see it's add some elements this is particle maybe not necessarily the best i want maybe going inside but idea of this if you have it additional layers your overlay add music and other things then the end you'll have it very good um, motion image but overall even right now you can see it's add more life to your ai generated image creating this more look um, interesting in a way i think more immersive type of the image well, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you find this very interesting and educational for you. Find something new to do. If you like it, let me know. Put a thumbs up, subscribe. Please share your work, what you created. If you find a better way to create as well with animation, I highly appreciate this. And have a fun, great day to create your own art.